Hi everyone, I'm Matt Dever and I'd like to welcome you to the first Mixing in the Box tutorial. Today I'll be mixing some drums from a recent session with a London-based band called Horsefight who have kindly let me use their song Collect the Leaves for this video. I'm using Pro Tools HD, but this video is focusing on EQ and compression so it really doesn't matter which software you use. Horsefight are a three-piece band with a big crazy sound and they wanted the drums to be trashy and in your face, so let's have a listen to the track with the raw drums playing and we'll see what we've got to work with. So as you can hear the drums are definitely trashy, but they're not nearly punchy or clear enough for the song. So let's have a look at what we've got to work with. We'll start with the kick drum. We've got a D6 and a speaker mic, which was an NS10 wired backwards. And we've got a 57 on the top skin of the snare and also a 57 on the floor tom. And overheads, we've got 414s and the room mic was an NT2000 figure eight pattern with the dead side of the pattern facing the kit. So let's start shaping the kick drum. I'll start on the D6. We're gonna use this for the click of the drum. I'll use a gate and I'll reduce the attack and release time as fast as they go. Just try and get as much attack out of the sound as you can. And that's pretty much what we're looking for. So I'll use an EQ to roll off all the bottom end. And then a compressor to just bring the level back up to unity. Not really looking for a lot of gain reduction here, just more so getting the level back up. So that's pretty much what I'm after. I'll start on the speaker mic. So I'm going to gate it as well. Same idea as before, just work your threshold until you get the sound you're after. That's pretty good. This is just going to be for the thumb, the low end. So I'll use an EQ and I'll roll off all the top end above about 150. And I'm also going to push about 60 hertz. So if you're listening to it on some bigger monitors, you'll really feel, feel the low end when I push that up. And I'll just even out the in and out gain so we're not clipping anything. And I might just compress that a little bit. So I'll just copy a compressor over. And not so much for compression, more so just to bring up the, the level back to Unity. Great, so we'll have a look at the snare drum. And again, we're just gonna use a gate just to lose a bit of that background noise. So you'll wanna ride the threshold just till you get the sound you're after. A bit more attack in there. And I'll probably move the range up a little bit just so it's not quite as noticeable. Great. So I'm gonna use an EQ just to bring, bring out the mids in this. It's, really going to be a trashy snare drum so we're not going for hi-fi we just want it to, to really punch out of the mix even a bit of really high end in there so there's something ringing just down below um, that's the one at 450 so just tidy that up a little bit and again just going to Put a bit of compression on, not a great deal of gain reduction, just more so to bring it back to unity. Great, so I'll have a listen to the floor tom. Sounds pretty good straight off the mic, but just a bit of compression to fatten it up. That's great, so I'll have a look at the overheads and I'm just gonna go for a lot of room sound in the overhead. So a lot of the sort of 500 upwards. So I'll just roll off the bottom end. And the symbols at the start, the crash symbol is going to be really harsh, so I'm just going to pull a lot of that out, sort of the 5k area, and that'll compress pretty nicely too. Just got to be careful of how harsh it becomes. Let me pull a bit more out. So I'll copy those across, both overheads and then panning left and right. There's your overheads. So now the room mic, I'm really just going to try and focus in on the snare. So I'm going to pull out all of the, the top end, all of that cymbal wash and everything, just try and get mostly snare. So that sort of looks like a pretty ugly EQ, but that's the, the sound I'm chasing, so that's fine. 
If you want, you can really go to town on the compressor here, even the option shift ratios, the all buttons in, but I think just a, a low ratio is a bit punchier. So that's our drum kit as a whole so far, and I'm going to trigger some pink noise with the snare drum. So we've got the snare drum coming out on bus 9, and that's working, I'll just make it a bit shorter. So you can hear what that's doing now with the snare drum, but it's obviously far too loud, I'll bring that down a bit. So it's just an interesting snare effect you can use to beef up a snare or just change its sound. So I'll have a listen to the drums from the start and there's definitely going to be too much in the way of overheads in there. So I'm going to pull those back a bit. We really just want the kick and snare to pump through mainly. So the snare could probably be a little brighter. Just push up a bit more of that 3K. It's possibly a little boxy but we'll have a listen with the rest of the song and decide then. So what I'll do now is play with a, a bit of EQ and compression of the master drum bus. So I've got a um, MIG DSP retro EQ and I'll just pull out some sort of 500, add some lows and highs, pretty much a smiley face EQ. And I'll just pull out a bit of 4K there as well for the cymbals at the start which can be a bit harsh. So you can really hear what the, the room mic is doing to the snare drum. It's possibly a little honky, but I'll just try and make that a bit, a bit nicer. Okay. So now I'll put a limiter on the master bus, just to beef up the, the kit as a whole. So now I'll have a listen to the drum kit with the rest of the song. That's sounding good. I'll just check the gain structure. We've got a couple of things clipping on the master bus. So I'll check the limiter and just back it off from zero slightly. And also we're clipping the input of the EQ, which means the drum kit as a whole is coming into the bus too hot. So I'll bring back the whole drum kit in level so we won't clip the input or the output of the master bus anymore. Just not totally happy with the snare drum, I'll just have a play with that. So you can hear the room mics are acting as the reverb for the snare, so we can change the tone of that and it really affects the snare quite a lot. So that's my approach to the drum sound for this song. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Make sure you keep an eye out for more videos to come. Thanks so much for watching, and here's the rest of the song.